Hello, in this video, we will learn how to solve any star pattern program in Python. When you search the internet, you might have come across many videos, playlists or lengthy blogs explaining different pattern programs. So do you need to learn each of them? Answer is no. What you need is to understand the basics and learn the tricks so that you can answer any random pattern question which is given to you. Now if you go through this video, you will be able to make any of these patterns shown and I will explain to you how. Now you might have played with blocks when you were a kid. You could create any kind of shapes and design from a simple block. We are going to use the same method here. What we are going to learn is two basic blocks, how to make an increasing triangle and a decreasing triangle. Using just these two, we will teach you how to join them together to make any kind of pattern that is asked. So a complex pattern is nothing but these two basic triangles either filled with star, hash or dollar. An important point you need to know before you start is that when we print, we do it row by row. You always start printing from left side of the screen. If your star is printed away from the left side of the screen or there is space in between the stars like in these two hills, then you do not jump and print. This is actually done by printing spaces. So in this line, there are four spaces printed first, then one star and then again seven spaces and then one star and so on for all remaining rows. We cannot go back to previous row. You have to print this entire row and then move to next row. So let's get started. The first thing in pattern is the size. Size means how big or how many rows you want in the triangle. Now either you could be asked to take size from the user and you can use input function to take in the size or if you are asked to write a function this n could be passed to you as a parameter. If you are given size in the question itself, in that case, you can just directly assign it to a variable n. For our examples, we will consider that we have size in variable n which has value 5. Also in the remaining video, we will just focus on code to make the pattern. Depending upon your question, you can either write a function or take input from user and just plug this code in. First let's start by basics. Pattern program requires you to use loops. Let's start with a simple square as an example first. Now if you are asked to print one star, you will write a print statement which will print a star for you. Now if you are asked to print n stars, what will we do? There are two ways you can do it. One is just use multiplication in print statement and you can get n stars or we can use a loop. In this method, we use the range function along with for loop. If we give range n, then the loop will run from 0 to less than n. Means I will have values from 0 to 4. But if we run this code, we see it prints each star in a new line but we want it in one line. So we will add end is equal to blank and it will override the new line and print stars in the same line. This loop will run 5 times and print the star 5 times. So we have written this code with which we can print one row. But what we want is to print this row 5 times to get our square pattern. So what I will do is insert this complete set of code inside another loop which will print this row 5 times. If you run this, you will see that all stars are getting printed on the same row. How do we fix this? We know our print statement with end is equal to blank is making it print in the same row. So can we just remove it from the print star statement to fix it? If we do that, then what happens is now each star is going to next line. What we want is 5 stars in the same row and then it should go to next line. 
means this loop will continue to have print statement with end is equal to blank and only after this whole row is printed we go to next line. So we will insert a print statement as the last statement of the outer loop. So let's just understand how the loop will work. We start with the outer loop, it holds our row numbers and starts with 0. Then we enter the inner loop, it holds our column numbers and starts with 0 and runs till less than n which is 4 to print all the columns. Once inner loop is finished, the control comes back to the outer loop and outer loop increments by 1. So we go to next row and again inner loop prints 5 columns as it will again start from 0 to less than n. This repeats for all rows till i is less than n and then we exit from the outer loop. A key takeaway from this is do not forget to put print statement before exiting the outer loop. This is a very important point and if you miss writing print statement as the last statement, your whole pattern can go for a toss. Now if I run this, you will see our output has stars to close and it is giving an effect of rectangle instead of square. You can fix this by just adding an extra space using the end parameter. What we will do is, instead of blank, we will put a single space in the end parameter which will ensure that there is a space after every star. So this is our final code to print a square. Let's go back to the print statement. We are printing star here. This could actually be anything. If you print hash, it will be a pattern of hash, a dollar, then it will be a pattern of dollar and so on. Now let's learn our first basic pattern of increasing triangle. Let's take our previous program which printed a square. We will just edit this to print triangle. We know now that the outer loop determines the rows and inner loop determines the columns. We see that in this pattern, the rows are 5 or n only. So our outer loop is correct already and requires no change and it is already printing n rows. Coming to columns, instead of printing 5 stars or printing from 0 to 4, it should print 1 star for 0th row, 2 star for 1st row, 3 star for 2nd row and so on. Point to note here is that for each row, I need row number plus 1 stars. Row number is stored in variable i, which is starting from 0 and incrementing to 1, 2, 3 till all rows are printed. So what we will just change here is set inner loop to run to i plus 1. This will ensure inner loop runs for only one time in the first row, two time in the second row, then three, then four, and then n. This completes our program for increasing triangle. Important point to remember in this is that for making an increasing triangle, outer loop is set to n and nested loop is set to i plus 1. Remaining program is exactly the same. Now let's learn second basic pattern, decreasing triangle. We will again take our square program. We will just edit this to print decreasing triangle. If you see this code, outer loop is correct already and requires no change as it is already printing n rows from 0 to less than n. But now we need the columns to print decreasing number of stars 5, 4, 3, 2 and 1. How do we change our nested for loop to reduce by 1 every time? This time we will add a start condition. We will use i as the start condition. So for first row, the loop will run from 0 to 5, printing 5 stars. Second row, it will run from 1 to 5, that means 4 times, and then 3, 2 and 1 star. This completes our program for decreasing triangle. So important point to remember in making decreasing triangle pattern is that outer loop is still n and nested loop is from i to n. 
Now you have the basic emanation in place. If you do not understand these two basic triangles, go back, rewind and understand it again. Let's take a look at some of the patterns we saw earlier. All of the patterns you see here are made from combination of these two type of triangles. As you know, we always start printing from left side of the screen. So where we see blank is actually the same triangle pattern made with spaces. So this pattern is made up of two triangles, one increasing pattern of space and one decreasing pattern of star. This pattern also has two triangles. It has one decreasing pattern of space followed by one increasing pattern of star. This pattern has three triangles. First it has one decreasing pattern of space followed by one increasing pattern of star and one more increasing pattern of star. Also do note, in all of these, here the rows are n only, but columns have different printing options, space or star. So let's try to solve it. Let's pick up this pattern first. Now this pattern has two triangles. First is decreasing triangle, printing space, and second is increasing triangle, printing stars. Do note that on same row, we have to now print space and star. Let's write the program for it. Since our number of rows are same as that of square pattern, we will first copy the outer loop from our previous program and it runs till n. To note, our empty print line, which takes us to new row every time, sticks to the end of the outer loop. You should not forget it or try to link it with any nested loop ever. First, we have decreasing triangle of space. So we recall our code of nested loop for decreasing triangle and we will write our nested for loop for decreasing triangle from i to n. Here the print statement will print space only. Now the next triangle is increasing triangle pattern printing stars in the same row. So we will just add another nested for loop for increasing triangle pattern and we know this will run till i plus 1. This will print star. Let's take a look at how this will work for the first row when i is 0. First the upper nested loop will execute and print 5 spaces. Then in the same row it will enter the second nested loop and will print 1 star. Then it will go to next row and i will become 1. Then it will print 4 space from the first nested loop and then 2 star from the second nested loop. So these two nested loops are working one after the other to print all columns we need in a row. This will go on till the entire pattern is printed. Now this is the program for this pattern. You need to remember two important things here. First, empty print statement is linked to rows or outer loop. We do not repeat it with every inner loop. Second, each print has got either a space or a character followed by a space which is part of the end. That means two characters are printed in each print statement. All of your print statement need to have the same number of characters even if it is printing space. Now let's see another pattern. What if the pattern was like this? It is increasing triangle of space and then decreasing triangle of star. Since our number of rows are same as that of square pattern, we will first copy the same outer loop from the previous program and it runs till n. Since first loop is increasing triangle, we will write our nested for loop for increasing triangle till i plus 1. Here the print statement will print space only. Now the next triangle is decreasing triangle. So we will just add another nested for loop for decreasing triangle pattern which will run from i to n. This will print star. This is the final code for this pattern. Now what if pattern was like this, a hill pattern. 
Now we already have written code for first two triangle of this pattern. Here the third triangle is also an increasing triangle pattern. So we will write one more nested loop. Now there is a small catch here which you need to remember. Let's run this and see. Here when you see the output, you see it does not have a peak. Why? Because our loop knows how to make 5 columns each. In such pattern, actually there is one less column printed. We need to make one of the nested loop print one less column. So to make this nested loop run one less, we will just change the for condition of first increasing triangle from range i plus 1 to range i. This will make the loop print one less column. So this is our final code for this pattern. Now what if it was reverse mountain pattern? Here there is one decreasing triangle and two increasing triangle. Now we already have written code for first two triangle of this pattern. Like in previous question, we will just add a third nested loop for increasing triangle. And to make sure we have our valley correct, we will have nested loop print one less column. So we will change n to n minus 1 in range function. This is our code for reverse mountain pattern. Let's take a look at patterns which double up on rows as well. Let's take this diamond pattern. Here you have to print pattern below another pattern. Now we have the code for hill pattern and inverted hill pattern too. Here note that the rows are also doubling up. So what you need to do is just place two code one below the other along with the outer loop. So you run one outer loop along with its nested loop for rows of upper set of triangles and run another outer loop along with its nested loop for rows for lower set of triangles. Let's run this to see by just doing this, do we get the desired pattern. This is close but this too has one issue that it does not have pointed corners. Looking closely, we see actually our rows too don't double up. There is one less row to give us pointed edges. The solution is similar to what we did for columns. We need to print one less row. How do we do that? We just reduce the condition of outer for loop to print one less row, effectively deleting its last row. So we will just change our outer loop condition from range n to range n minus 1. Now this is our required program for diamond. Now you can try any different pattern like this shown using the same logic. Break it into increasing and decreasing triangles and then just bundle up the code. Hope you have understood how to solve the pattern problems. In our next video, we will cover how to solve any of the number patterns. If you have any doubts, do reach out to us. Thank you and goodbye.